Okay, um, in this video, I will uh, just give a few examples and uh, without telling exactly what is the method, that means you have to find out the method to use. Uh, for example, if I have, uh, let's say this is example number one, I have x cubed plus y times dx plus x plus exponential y times dy equals 0. Now, if I look at separable, most probably it will be not separable because I have this sum here and sum here. Uh, linear, if I just check, for example, divide by dx, I will have dy over dx, but the coefficient is depending on y, so it should be, it's not linear. So I could try the exact. Uh, I will write here m is x cubed plus y. That means d uh, m over dy, or just say uh, m y. It is one, and n is x plus exponential y. That means n x is one as well. So this is exact equation. So I can find a function f. Say that d f over d x is m, which is x cubed plus y, and df over dy will be n, that means x plus exponential y. Now, if I, for example, integrate the first equation, I will obtain f of xy, the integral of x cubed plus y dx, which will be x4 over 4 and then if I integrate y which is a constant in terms of x I obtain y times x plus a constant of integration which will be a function of y then I just have to differentiate the result in terms of y I will obtain the first term will be 0 the second term in terms of y I will obtain x n plus g prime y now, this should be x plus exponential y. And from here, we obtain that g prime y is exponential y. Now, if I enter that function, I will obtain that gy is exponential y plus a constant of integration c. And then we have the solution. It should be f of xy equals to 0. That means x power 4 over 4 plus y x plus g y which is exponential y plus c equals 0. This is your implicit solution. Okay, now for this example, we couldn't find separable uh, linear, so we can solve it by exact. That's all right. Now let's see another example. Okay, this is example number two. You say I have dy over dt equals sine t minus tangent t times y. Now, once again, because of this sum or this uh, difference, it's most probably not separable. But if I already have dy over dt, I may try to write this expression on the left side and I will obtain a linear differential equation because this will be dy over dt plus tangent t times y equals sine t. So this is linear. And then I have e of t, which is tangent t and f of t will be sine t. Now the first thing is to obtain the integrating factor. mu of t is exponential integral of p of t tangent t, but I will just use the definition. That means sine t over cosine t dt. So this will be exponential minus integral minus sine t. This is just to show that we can 
have the derivative of cosine d, which is minus sine t. So at the end, by using this as a substitution, we should be able to integrate this function of the exponential minus ln cosine t. Now, exponential minus ln cosine t, just remember that this minus goes to the exponent. So at the end, exponential ln will, can, will be cancelled, obtain 1 over cosine t. And then we just apply the formula, y of t is 1 over mu t, so 1 over 1 over cos t, that means just cos t. And then the integral of mu t, which is 1 over cos t, and then times f of t, which is sine t. So what you are obtaining again is just the integral of tangent t. So we do the same to be cosine t. And then if you integrate sine over cos, you obtain minus ln cosine t. And here plus a constant of integration. Finally, the solution, but this time around we have an explicit solution. Y t will be cosine t. Now we could write it this way, c minus ln cosine t. So this time around we have explicit solution. Okay, now uh, let's see a third example. Okay, third one, we have dy over dx, y minus 4x over x minus y. Now, written in this form, dy over dx, this ratio, we have x's and y, so most probably it's not separable. I mean, visibly it's not separable. Uh, can it be linear? But Okay, we just write it first. Uh, by reducing the, the at the same denominator, so that means I will have x minus y dy equals uh, y y minus four x times dx. Now to write it in the form that we used to have, it will be y minus four x dx if i bring this part in the right side it becomes minus x minus y dy equals zero now it's not separable it's most probably not linear because if i divide here by dx the coefficient of dy over dx will be depending on y so it's not linear okay if you consider x as the uh, independent variable actually even if you consider x or other dependent variable, we still have an x here as a coefficient, so it is still nonlinear. Now, let's try exact and non-exact. Um, I This is just an example where uh, we can solve it by exact and non-exact, because if I say m is y minus 4x, so my, my is 1, and n is minus x plus y, that means nx is negative 1. Now if you do the difference, my minus nx, it will be 2, or nx minus my, it will be minus 2, but since you are dividing either by m or by n, we'll have a constant of a function of x and y. Okay, So we'll not be able to obtain just a function of x or just a function of y. So it's non-exact. And for this case, uh, my minus nx, my minus nx over n will be 1 plus 1 over n, which is minus x plus y. So this is not a function of x. And same thing if you write nx minus my over m, it will be minus 2 over uh, m which is y minus 4x so again it's not a function of y alone so uh, can't be uh, can't be made exact be made 
exactly. Now, what is remaining as option that we have learned so far is just homogeneous. Okay. Now, actually, we could see this from this uh, writing. This is a polynomial of degree one in terms of x y. This is a polynomial of degree one in terms of x y. So that's why we could have uh, thought about homogeneous even before checking for exact. Okay. Now, let's uh, solve this one. Uh, y minus four x. Uh, we just maybe get a new page. Okay, now what we had from the at the end of the last uh, was four y minus x, no y minus four x, y minus four uh, x dx minus x minus y dy equals zero. Now, we have to solve it by uh, homogeneous method. So we say y, for example, is u times x. That means dy is u dx plus x du. And then we substitute y is ux. We have ux minus 4x dx minus x minus u x dy is u dx plus x du has to be zero now we can see actually that we have a common factor here is x and here is x so we simplify by x we obtain u minus 4 dx Okay, then here what is remaining minus 1 minus u and then we have u dx plus x du equals 0. If I take the terms with uh, dx, I will have u minus 4. In terms of dx, I have here minus 1 minus u times u. The whole thing is multiplied by dx and what is remaining in terms of du I have 1 negative 1 minus u 1 minus u times x times du equals 0. Now here I will obtain if I expand it uh, u minus 4 minus u plus u squared dx and if I write the remaining term in the other side it becomes 1 minus u times x times du and this will be just u minus uh, u squared minus 4 u squared minus 4 dx it has to be 1 minus u x du so we just separate the variables that means dx over x and here 1 minus u over u squared minus 4 du now they are separated we just integrate both sides the left side will be loan uh, this side actually be known as well but how to say it you need to do the decomposition to partial fractions i just give you the indication i and i let you finish this uh, this equation uh, you will have to write one minus u over u squared minus four this is actually one minus u over u minus two times u plus two and we just decompose it in terms of a constant a over u minus 2 and then a constant b over u plus 2. So once you obtain a b, you integrate both sides. You obtain the 
antiderivative. I mean, you obtain the solution in terms of u, and then you just replace back uh, the function here y to obtain your final solution. Okay.